Yorkshire Terriers are known for their small size and human-like hair. They are hypoallergenic and have long, silky hair. These terrier dogs are very intelligent and trainable, but can be stubborn at times. They have big attitudes, long lives, and playful nature, which demands a proper training. Obedience training is the first stage of the whole training process. This training is mandatory for effective communication and interaction with your puppy. Obedience training builds a strong foundation, and once your puppy completes it, only then can she move forward to the other training processes. There are some basic commands that are a must for every puppy. According to the American Kennel Club, there are five basic commands that every puppy needs to learn. These are come, heal, sit, down, and stay. Besides these five basic commands, there is a long list of other commands and tricks that you can teach to your puppy. You can enroll your puppy in a kindergarten or obedience class. These training programs are extremely beneficial since they not only provide basic training, but also allow your puppy to socialize with other dogs. You can sign up for a training class when your puppy is 8 to 10 weeks old. However, make sure your puppy has received mandatory vaccination before letting her mingle with other dogs. These puppy classes last for a duration of 4 to 8 weeks, depending upon the training type. A puppy can also learn different dog sports and competitions, like agility, tracking, and obedience. These puppy training classes could be found anywhere in your area. You can also sign up for AKC Star Puppy or Canine Good Citizen programs. You need to be gentle and cooperative in the training process, especially in the beginning. Puppies are like toddlers. Sometimes they need more time and repetitions to fully comprehend a command. Don't overtrain these tiny dogs. Make sure the training session is an enjoyable activity for them and not a boring one. Food is a big motivator and will accelerate the training process. Use short and clear commands. Puppyhood is the perfect time for nipping bad behaviors in the bud. Teach your puppy good habits and manners and discourage bad behaviors. Don't be mistaken by the small size of Yorkies. Because of their terrier genes and small dog syndrome, they are hyperactive, which means they are curious enough to get easily distracted from training. The right time for potty training a Yorkie is the day you bring her home. The earlier you start it, the faster and easier it will be. Young puppies are in the learning phase, and if not given the opportunity to learn something good, they may end up learning some bad behaviors. Regardless of their age, the training process should start from day one. However, it should not be too early either. If the puppy is less than eight weeks old, you should not start the training process. The puppy is a brand new guest in your house, and if you establish boundaries from the very first day, she will think of them as a normal way of life here. And one of the very first things you need to do is to prepare an outdoor spot for the bathroom. This step is very critical for the whole training process. This designated spot should be used for the sole purpose of a bathroom for your puppy. After choosing a spot, make it as convenient as possible. It should be easily accessible and easy to clean. Make sure it is suitable for all weathers. A certain spot may be a good choice for summer, but may not work for the winter season. The location should have proper protection from rain, snow, and direct sunlight. The spot should not be in the way of movements and distractions. After preparing a specific location, use it consistently without changing it. There is a dire need for establishing a consistent daily routine and bathroom timings. This is because a consistent daily schedule will reduce potty accidents and give you predictable timings for potty breaks. Dogs are creatures of habit and they flourish with a routine and easily adapt to it. You should give your puppy a consistent daily schedule for eating, sleeping, playing, and doing their business. Among these, the decisive role is played by regular meal timings because if a puppy has a consistent feeding schedule, she will develop a consistent potty schedule. And this consistent and predictable potty schedule will make life easier for both of you. There are certain times and occasions when your puppy needs potty breaks. First thing in the morning, 10 to 15 minutes after a meal, right after a nap, after a walk or playing session, before you leave them alone in the house, 
right before bed. Besides these regular timings, Yorkie puppies need more potty breaks because of their tiny bladders, which fill quickly. Moreover, they have faster metabolism, which means more potty breaks. Over time, puppies develop a way of telling you whenever they have an urge for elimination. Observe their body language and look for obvious signs, which could be physical or verbal. Whenever your puppy shows these specific signs, act immediately by taking her to the designated potty spot. Dogs generally sniff the floor to find a suitable or old spot for elimination. They may also walk around in circles to find a good spot for potty. If your puppy is squatting or lifting a leg, that is a clear signal they are about to defecate. If your dog is inside the crate or room and he starts to whine or bark at the door, that is because they have an urge for the bathroom. Besides these obvious signs, an individual puppy could give more signs. Once your puppy understands that you are catching up to her signals, she will give them whenever she has an urge for the bathroom. There will be some indoor potty accidents in the beginning, and you need to be mentally prepared for them. They are inevitable because of many reasons. Young puppies have no idea that it is wrong to defecate inside the house. They need some time to get used to the designated bathroom location. The second main reason is their inability to control their bladders. Yorkies need some time to get a full control of their bladders. And in the meantime, they may have some indoor accidents because they cannot hold it. So in their first few months, they could hardly be blamed for potty accidents. However, you don't need to normalize potty accidents inside the house. If you find your puppy having an accident inside, interrupt the process by clapping and firmly saying no and then immediately take her to the designated spot. When you do this repeatedly, they will become more inclined to the designated spot. However, you don't need to punish your puppy for potty accidents. As mentioned earlier, they are in the learning phase and it is hardly their fault. It is recommended that the spot be cleaned right away. Puppies mark a territory by eliminating there and if the spot is not cleaned properly, they will return to it. The enzymes and odor cannot be removed with soap or other cleaners. You need to use an enzymatic cleaner that is specifically prepared to get rid of enzymes and odor. Since Yorkies are toy sized, they produce a small mess which is easier to clean. The use of potty pads is highly dependent on your living conditions. Outdoor arrangement is the preferred option. If you have a backyard or garden, you should prepare an outdoor spot. But if you cannot, then you should go for indoor arrangements like pads. These tiny dogs are more popular in urban areas where people live in apartment buildings. So in that case, pads are the best option available. There are a variety of indoor arrangements like disposable training pads, artificial grass, etc. Toy dogs, like Yorkies, don't have a lot of mess, so it is relatively easy to manage it. Again, the outdoor feeling of grass, soil, and open air is ideal, but if you are unable, then these tiny dogs can also easily adjust to an indoor setup. According to the American Kennel Club, crates are an important house training tool that can make your life easier. Dogs have a good sense of cleanliness and you can take advantage of that. They have a natural tendency to keep their sleeping area clean. So if you put your puppy in a crate, she will understand that this confined space is her sleeping area and she naturally wants it to be clean, so she will prefer to go outside for the bathroom. Yorkies are relatively harder to potty train and a crate helps significantly. It is a quick and proven method for potty training a puppy. It is recommended to use a command for potty breaks. You can use words like toilet, go potty, do business, etc. Use the same command every time, otherwise your puppy will become confused. According to the Humane Society of the United States, a puppy can control their bladder one hour for every month of age. That means a two-month-old puppy can hold it for about two hours. The American Kennel Club also acknowledges this general formula of months to hours. However, it shows a maximum time duration that a puppy can hold it. It is recommended to give them breaks before these timings. Yorkies are toy-sized and they have very tiny bladders, so this formula should not be strictly applied to them. They have a very loose control of their bladders and need around four to six months to gain some control, and till that time, they cannot hold their urge. If they are forced to hold it for a long time, they may develop bladder or urinary tract problems. 
Potty training these tiny dogs could be a challenging task. However, every puppy is different. They have different personalities and experiences, and that is why training durations could also be different. Normally, it takes around four to six months, but they will show results from the first week of training. Yorkies are notorious for being harder to potty train because of their stubborn nature and a small bladder. However, if you train them with the correct approach, they will learn faster. The American Kennel Club considers the crate as a useful training tool and a safe haven. It is considered as vitally important for dogs of all ages. It gives them a sense of security and safety. Many vets, trainers, and breeders recommend crate training. The Humane Society of the United States also considers it an important tool for various reasons. It takes advantage of a dog's natural denning instinct, helps in house training, and provides a safe way for transporting a dog. However, if used incorrectly, it will become a disaster. So if you use it correctly, a crate could prove to be a wonderful tool for your Yorkie. It has a lot of advantages, like Crate works as a safe sanctuary for these tiny dogs. It is like their shelter or bedroom. It is their safe haven whenever they are nervous, anxious, or need some rest. If a dog is left unsupervised, it can cause a lot of trouble in the house. They could even injure themselves. A crate helps keep them out of trouble whenever you leave them alone for a short time. The American Kennel Club ranks crate high as a potty training. A dog understands that a crate is their sleeping and dining area, so they don't soil it. It is the easiest and most effective method for potty training. One of the great blessings of a crate is the easy transportation of a dog. In a crate, they will remain safe and less anxious while being transported, so a car ride and a flight journey are much easier when your dog is crate trained. In order to lure your puppy inside, it is crucial to set up the crate in a pleasant way. You need to make the interior as inviting as possible. And to make the crate more comfortable, the best thing you can do is provide a bed, which is soft, warm, and cozy. You can use a towel or blanket as a bed, but the preferred option is to use a dog's bed. They are non-allergic and non-chewable. Many crates come with a removable tray that makes it easier to clean them. Keep their favorite toys and treats inside the crate. A Kong toy filled with peanut butter is a good choice. You can also use some interactive puzzle toys to keep them busy when they are alone in the crate. The crate will be more tempting if you turn it into a den-like place. The crate should have good airflow, lighting, and a view of the surroundings. Remove everything from your puppy like dog collar, leash, or tags because these things could get stuck in the crate and potentially harm them. You can install a camera around the crate to keep an eye on your puppy while you are away. Once you have made the crate an appealing place, you can use toys and treats to lure her inside. Spread treats on the entrance and inside of the crate, and your puppy will follow them to the inside. Once she is inside, don't close the door immediately. While introducing the crate, the first few attempts are very crucial and you need to be cooperative. Crate is a new environment for your puppy and she fears that she will be locked up inside for an indefinite time. Let your puppy walk around the crate, sniff it, and become familiar with it. She may enter the crate on her own by looking at the appealing environment of inside. For the first few attempts, you may skip closing the door at all. At first, leave her in the crate for about five minutes and then gradually build up over time. You should not push them inside, otherwise they will develop a negative association with the crate. Whenever your puppy enters the crate, give her more treats. In the beginning, remain around the crate so that she does not feel trapped. Sometimes, when you are about to leave the room, the puppy starts whining, whimpering, or barking. These reactions mean your puppy wants to get out of the crate. You will have to ignore that whining with a heavy heart, because if your puppy learns that whining or barking gets her out of the crate, she will repeat that behavior every time you put her back in. However, if whining continues for a while, you should pay them a visit because it could be for another reason. This thing plays a decisive role in the whole training process. If you were successful in creating a positive image of the crate in her mind, the training process will be a breeze and your dog will accept the crate as her favorite place in the house. And to achieve this goal, there are a few things you need to do and a few things you need to avoid. 
you need to make the crate as her dining room by giving them meals inside the crate and they will subconsciously attach a positive connotation with the crate. Your puppy should have free access to the crate and should be able to enter and exit the crate whenever they want. The interior of the crate should be decorated properly. You can make the crate more familiar by playing games that involve going inside of the crate like playing fetch. On the other side, there are a few things which will highly disturb the training. Never use the crate as a punishment. Don't push them inside the crate. Do not leave them in the crate for an extended period of time. Don't use a crate of an incorrect size. Use a command and then point toward the crate, and your puppy will soon associate the command with the required action. The command could be a word or phrase like crate, kennel, etc. You can use separate words for entry and exit of the crate. This is often ignored, but is really important. Sometimes the exterior location of the crate is so uncomfortable that a puppy is reluctant to go inside of the crate. Yorkies are very social, and they want humans' attention and companionship. Their crate should be placed at a location where they could feel human companionship. The ideal location will be a place where the family spends a lot of time, such as a family room, living room, or an area close to the kitchen. Well, to be honest, there is no need to put your dog in a crate if you or your family is around. At night, it is recommended to keep the crate close to you, especially in the beginning of the training. You can keep them in your bedroom or in an adjacent hallway. Once she gets used to the crate, you can move the crate to another place. Yorkies have a small size and their crate would also be small, so you can keep it at any suitable location. Keep the crate away from direct sunlight, air vents, or fireplaces. Also, don't keep the crate outdoors. The main thing you need to understand about the location of the crate is that a puppy should not feel lonely or abandoned. She needs to feel the vibe of the house. Crates are available in the market in different sizes, and you need to choose an appropriate size of crate for your little Yorkie. If a crate is too large, they will divide it into two sections, one for sleeping and another for the bathroom. If the crate is too small, it will be uncomfortable and your puppy will hate it. The ideal size of the crate is the one in which a dog can stand up, turn around, and lie down easily. Yorkies are toy dogs, and according to AKC, they can grow up to be 7 to 8 inches tall and weigh around 7 pounds. So you need to buy a crate that is prepared for toy size breeds. Young puppies keep growing and you can use dividers or wall panels to adjust their changing size. There are a lot of crates available in the market, which are made from different material and for different purposes. You can buy crates that are made from wire, wood, plastic, or fabric material. Wire crates are considered as a versatile option because of their ventilation, view of the surroundings, and easily washable properties. Wood crates are also best for home because they will match the home decor. Plastic and fabric crates are lightweight and portable. They are generally used for traveling purposes. There are even specific crates for transporting your dog on a plane. According to the Humane Society of the United States, puppies under six months of age shouldn't stay in a crate for more than three or four hours at a time. Yorkies are toy-sized and they have tiny bladders and a loose control of their bowel muscles, which means they cannot hold it for a long time and need frequent potty breaks. If they are locked up in the crate for an extended period of time, they will have no choice but to eliminate inside the crate. Their extended stay in the crate is also detrimental to their physical and emotional health. Yorkies may be toy-sized, but they are hyperactive because of their terrier genes. They need a good amount of physical and mental stimulation. These adorable, tiny dogs should be left in the crate only for a short time, like when you have to run some errands. If you or your family is around, then it is not a good idea to put them in the crate. An ethical and humane use of the crate is mandatory. If used incorrectly, it will become a disaster and yield negative results. The time duration for crate training is determined by several factors, like the temperament of your puppy, training experience, and consistency of the training process. Yorkies generally accept the crate and, in fact, they love it, but only if it's made a pleasant place for them, and they are kept inside only for the required time. However, for some puppies, it will be a challenging task, and they could take up to six months.
Yorkies are terrier dogs, and they were initially bred to be ratters for hunting rats in the mills. The famous canine psychologist, Dr. Stanley Corrin, has ranked their intelligence as above average. Although they are smart, but are typically harder to train, their hard trainability is because of a few factors like terrier genes, stubborn nature, and small dog syndrome. Terrier dogs are typically stubborn and free-willed. They have an independent nature. Small dogs are also typically harder to train. However, you need to understand a key factor about their trainability. Yorkies may be harder to train, but that doesn't mean they are less intelligent or less trainable. They are highly trainable dogs, but they learn at their own pace and will. At the end of the day, each Yorkie has a different temperament. Some are quick to learn, while others take some time. An ideal training session is supposed to be short, focused, and entertaining for your dog. The training session should be 5 to 10 minutes long and not more than that. Yorkies have shorter attention spans and cannot concentrate on the training session for too long. Train them at a quiet place where there are less distractions. Yorkies are terrier dogs and they have a good amount of energy. Sometimes they lose interest in the training process and don't respond well. In such cases, don't force them and start the session later. Teach only one command in a session, otherwise they will become confused. The American Veterinary Society of Animal Behavior has published their statement on a humane way for training a dog. According to the statement, reward-based training methods should be used for canine training since it is the most advantageous and the aversive methods for training should be rejected at all. Reward-based training is the best and most effective methodology for training a dog. It uses treats and praise to encourage desired behaviors. Puppies need a lot of praise, affection, and encouragement. However, be careful not to overfeed them with treats. Scolding, yelling, or physically punishing them is a cruel practice. It is totally ineffective and yields counter results. If you use harsh methods, Yorkie will become fearful and more stubborn. Socialization is very crucial not only for training but also for their overall upbringing. Socialization involves making your puppy familiar with the world outside the home. Introduce them to new people, places, and animals. Make them familiar with new sounds, smells, and experiences. For terrier dogs like Yorkies, socialization is critical. They are fearless and may be aggressive towards other dogs. But with proper socialization from an early age, they become more friendly towards other dogs and pets. The prime time for socialization of a puppy is the first few months of their life. A well-behaved and well-trained dog is the dream of everyone, but it comes at a cost, patience, and consistency in the training process. These two factors are directly related to the owner and not the dog. You need to have realistic expectations. It is not just about Yorkies. Every puppy requires time for training. You may not get quick results, and the training process will have some challenges, especially in the beginning. You need to be patient and diligent and consistent in the training process because it is totally worth it to have a well-behaved and well-trained adult dog.